Welcome everybody to episode 6 of TLO Party with yours truly, Don Horatio. Uh, in episode 6, I'll be bringing you a ZVP on the map Ohana. Without further ado, let's get going. In the bottom right, we've got the Team Liquid Zerg player, our continued hero and the man we cherish, Dario Wunsch, TLO. In the top left, we have our Protoss player, the most recent acquisition by Team Empire, the Protoss player... Vines, uh, he's a Korean, formerly of Team OGS before it disbanded. Vines, a strong player, was showing some actually pretty good results in uh, GSLs and those sort of things before, but OGS disbanding. Uh, bad news bears for a lot of a lot of people on that team. Uh, looks like MC kind of got out of the right time, knew what was coming by joining Team SK. Uh, I'm I'm very curious to see what Tilo will do here. Uh, CVP is just it's a good matchup. It's it can be good. I I. I hope we don't see one of those uh, stale end of game kind of like boring macro things. Macro games aren't boring per se, but we all know that the end of a ZVP game, the whole Broodlord uh, Mothership Vortex thing, that whole that whole shebang can get kind of stale, uh, and there's really no doubting that. So I'm looking forward to maybe seeing some creativity from TLO, some sort of like, like some Nidus play would be baller. I would be sick. Some Nidus Hydras bringing bringing it back to uh, that was a long time ago when we saw that Nidus Hydra play. <laughs> But it's the only way to get them across the map in any sort of real efficient way. Oh, we do see the pylon at the front uh, here at the natural ramp for Vines. So he will likely go with the Forge play. Uh, whether it will be Nexus first or Forge first is yet to be determined. Tilo putting down that spawning pool on 15 as is... Or 14 or 15. I didn't really see what it was. But as is tradition. So nothing too out of the ordinary quite yet. A little bit of mineral harass there from Vines. Just get, keeping drones off this mineral line. But he'll be forced out by this drone. Uh, Vine's continuing to pump out probes and probes, and it looks like he will go Nexus first, I would imagine. Oh, I lied. He's going for he's going for that forge first. Then he'll follow that up as quickly as he can with his Nexus. Forge first is not the most it's not the greediest way to do it, but uh, it is certainly the safe way to do it. And there's really nothing wrong with that against a player like TLO, who knows what he can do. Uh, he's kind of crazy. Uh, we do have a pylon block here at the natural expansion for TLO. Uh, unfortunate for him, he does not have any Zerglings out quite yet. Two now are on the way. Uh, drones doing what they can. <laughs> Just nibbling away, hearing that, like, stake hitting hard tarmac sound that uh, drones do make when attacking. The Lord now coming in. Going to see that it was a forge first, followed by the Nexus, and then a cannon. We'll see a gateway very soon, I would imagine. This probe's still kind of hanging out. Uh, is he going to try to... Oh, going for the gateway block, and he gets it. So that will start warping in, and that'll take a little bit more to take down. But with the Zerglings here, it shouldn't take too terribly long, but it's just really going to hold things back a bit longer than he would like. He'll get that cancel off very soon. And he's cut a little bit close. And he misses the cancel. I think. You don't want to do that. Um, that's 150 minerals that he will not be getting back. And that was not worth it for blocking that uh, hatchery for just a couple more seconds. Uh, very sloppy play there from Vines. Third hatchery now on the way planted for TLO at the same time as the second, pretty much. I think the two drones are set out at almost exactly the same time, just the travel distance made this one come down a bit later. But uh, we do see the two gas follow up for Vines uh, after that uh, Forge Fast Expand and getting that gateway down. Uh, the com it's really the common way to do this. It uh, really allows you to jumpstart into that tech as soon as you can after basically only doing mineral sorts of things, trying to get that nexus as early as possible, more probes, chrono boosting them out, the forge, gateway, cannon combination. But TLO is moving around here, and he will spot this third ga uh, gas right when it goes down, so that's nice for him. Gives him a good idea of what's going on. A fairly early third gas there, but not too terribly unorthodox. Um, allows him to go for a good uh, blah, hybrid of tech and units and econ so good even play right there and certainly nothing too shabby going on with that cybernex core about a third of the way done for our protoss player let's take a brief look at the worker count i guess we got 26 to 27 so very even so far uh protoss with this uh forge first forge fast expand play we'll start out with more probes than the zerg player but the zerg will very soon catch up once these two hatcheries finish and really start turning workers out at an amazing rate See what else is going on. We do have we do have one gas for TLO already going. That's a bit earlier than you usually see with the th quick three hatch play. Uh, well, to see what he want, decides to do with that, uh, maybe go for an earlier zergling speed. Uh, and there it, it does indeed go. I like it when I get things like that correct. It makes me think I'm doing a good job. 
Fourth gas now coming away for Vine, so he's gonna go heavy into tech. Definitely gonna look to get something out as soon as he can, and that tech of choice is Stargate. Where is the Stargate? Where are you? You pesky thing. Oh, trying to hide it back in the left corner. He hid it from me for a while. But Stargate play it is for Vines. Good look to get some Phoenix out. Uh, potentially a Void Ray. We'll decide to see what he does. Uh, if he puts a Void Ray out, we'll likely see some attempted early pressure. As opposed to Phoenix, which are more of a map control sort of unit and not really trying to do a whole lot right now. But going to help in the long term. Zorking Speed about halfway done. An Evo Chamber now popping up as well. Uh, gonna look to get some upgrades going, and we'll have to see if it's plus one melee or plus one armor uh, to see which uh, will be going roaches or zergling based army. We'll know very soon. I'm not seeing the roach warrant yet. I'm gonna have to imagine it's gonna be zerglings. Uh, he's already at 62 supply, and normally you'd have a roach warrant down already if that is your plan. Quick fourth base actually for TLO. Uh, very early for that. Usually you try to get these three bases saturated first, and then try to expand and make more units. Uh, plus one armor going down for these ground units uh, for TLO, so still leaving me in the dark, as opposed to what his long-term plan is. But uh, a couple more gateways in the way for Vines, as well as a robotics facility down here. Uh, that could just be for observers, or we'll see what he decides to do with that. The Phoenix are now starting to be produced. There's two done already, and Vines is trying to hide them until he gets, like, three or four is a good number to move out with, and really try to show... If you show one Phoenix, there's really nothing you can do, except maybe, like, kill an Overlord or two, but then... The Zerg player knows to defend, but the Zerg player knows to defend right now anyway. He's got a couple score crawlers on the way. He's got one down here at the third, one in the natural, and probably one in the main as well. It does indeed, so he'll be in good shape. Uh, won't lose a whole lot of workers in these Phoenix, but the Phoenix could still go around clearing overlords, uh, trying to pick up some queens that get a bit stray. And we'll have to see if he looks to do that. Looks like he'll be going straight into Colossus from here. Uh, plus one ground weapons as well as that box bay on the way for Protoss. And he's chronoing out some immortals, trying to get that defense going. And this, this immortals rallied. Well, oh, that was the Observer Rally, so I doubt that'll be going all the way across the map, that Immortal. Uh, fourth base is now finishing for TLO, and uh, Vines flies over and sees right when it goes. But uh, he's engaging these Queens and Ranger that once more, but nope, he fixes that. So he'll pick off this he'll pick off this one Queen, and TLO's going to need to get all of his Queens together to try and deal with this. Um, it could be a bit precarious uh, if he gets his Queens picked off one by one, and we see that now happening. The Old Lords are now rallied to the... not rallied, but like honed it on the spore, so he will not lose many of those, but uh, these Phoenix are being annoying at taking out some Queens. Uh, Teal moving over here to the third base, we'll look to try and deny that. Uh, with the number of sentries we see here in the taking out of the rocks, uh, I would expect Vines to go for this third base sooner rather than later. But he is croning out Colossi, and his uh, plus one upgrade is almost two-thirds of the way done right now. Phoenix moving in again to see what they can do. Spore Caller going to get off a couple of shots, picking off some drones in the gas. It's really testing whether Tilo knows that these these are the drones that are getting picked off, and he can get some guys back in gas, and looks like he does. And the Phoenix do now back off, uh, does not lose any of them, so that's nice for him. And Observer in a really nice spot will see pretty much anything going past this point, which will be any of Tilo's units and pretty much anything. Uh, we do have a Spire on the way for a TLO, and he is going for the Roach play instead of the Zergling play. Uh, is that plus one attack on the way yet? Nope. But now, there it goes now. He's now decided what he wants to do. And a Spire on the way as well, so we might see some... That's going to be for Col uh, Corruptors to deal with the Colossus, I would imagine. Uh, he does see that, because that this uh, Overseer in here probably did see the uh, production of the Colossus. So he will know exactly what is up. Now starting to get that Roach army going. He's supply slightly supply blocked here, and he will be supply blocked for quite some time. He's got four O-Lords in production, but they still have 20, uh, sorry, 15 seconds until the first one of them finishes. So that's a bit of a precarious situation. He is getting that infestation pit as well. Uh, look to make some corruptors as soon as that Spire finishes. Well, he can't because he's supply blocked, but now he's unblocked, and he will start to make units once again. Getting that Roach speed as well, and the plus one uh, Flyer Carapace, which is a good choice and keeps those... Uh, Corruptors up longer, attacking Colossi longer. That unit retention is always a good thing. A couple isolated roaches getting picked off here. Can't really do a whole lot about that, the roaches. Uh, but it's going to be a slow ordeal trying to pick off single roaches with these geeks. Not the really best use of these lefts. But uh, Perus is moving across the map, trying to deal with some creep tumors with the help of this observer. And a little three uh, three roach task force moving in for TLO. Going to see what they can find out. One coming in to scout this third base, and he will see this nexus uh, in mid-production. and going to try and get that probe, but he will not get him. And this Roach is now doomed to die. Poor fellow. But he saw what he needed to see. Knows that third's on his way. And no huge imminent push is coming. So not some sort of two-base all-in from the Protoss player. Phoenix still being annoying, but here come the Corruptors. And they're going to help with these Phoenix out a lot. And Mike is probably going to get this one Phoenix at the very least. And they actually do not quite get it. But he'll be able to deal with the Colossus much easier with the help of those Corruptors. So that's excellent for TLO. Some Zerglings and Roaches on the way now. Uh, trying to get this army size up. And a Hive on the way as well. TLO's going to look to put a little bit of pressure on here. Or at least... Uh, 
scares opponent thinking he's going to put some pressure on. At least taking this watchtower right now, moving in. This is a fair amount of units, but I don't think he can do a whole lot against this Colossus at the very least. There's two of them out now, but the Corruptors can take care of them. Uh, the rest of the ground armor should be in decent shape. Uh, there are some force fields, though, which will help against the Zerglings for sure. That's actually a fair amount of Tilo's army at this point in time. Both players being able to do pretty much what they want to at this point. Uh, this fourth base is now going for Tilo with that gas income. Another Spire on the way, so we're likely, almost definitely going to see Broodlords uh, once this Hive finishes. I'm going to get double upgrades as the, as soon as he can. And I look forward to seeing how this this game goes. We will see a long-term macro game here. Uh, slightly what I feared, but um, like I mentioned at the start of the game. But we can see. Uh, it might, might still be interesting. might be some really sick battling. We'll have to find out soon. Tilo's Hive just now finishing. The immediate, immediate morph for the Greater Spire. Let's see if we can find that guy. There he is. And uh, Blink is now done for the Stalkers of our uh, Protoss player. And plus two attack is only just now on the way. So the upgrades should be in favor of Tilo right now. He does have plus two Carapace on uh, both types of his units. And plus one attack for the Roaches. And also for the Zerglings. So he's got a pretty well-rounded upgraded army. Um, which is nice. I mean, usually when you have a mixed army like this, you don't have upgrades on all of them. So that's very excellent. Uh, Blink in to try and take out some of these retreating units. Tilo losing track of his army a bit right there and letting them engage without him wanting it. And Vines is going to take this opportunity to move in and engage. He's going to take out some Overlords for free. Uh, not quite yet supply block in TLO, but a couple more and he might get down to that position. Still not quite. Still not quite supply block. He's going to take out that Overlord. Still not supply block, but there are just there's Overlords all over the map. Uh, TLO moving in with the counter attack and the Zoglings will get right into the natural. No defense there at all right now. He's going straight for the Nexus. And I don't think there's a way for Vines to save this in time at all. And Roach is down here in the third as well, taking out the Nexus. Going to take out both Nexi at once. And I think Vines has no choice but try to go for a counterattack here. There's really not a whole lot he can do. And he will indeed go for the big attack. These Zoglings are also getting the main Nexus as well. Uh, Zealot Warpin should probably stop that. But Vines is actually turning tail. A little bit of hesitation on the part of our Protoss player. As both the second natural and third Nexus go down. This was just a great maneuver by TLO. He does not quite get that main nexus, but it is quite low if he decides to attack again. These roaches are still fighting drones, uh, probes here, and also some zealots, and Vines is in a precarious situation. Here comes now that uh, cross-map push. Uh, Vines needs to go now. He just does not have the economy. TLO taking a ballsy expansion up here on in the fourth base location of his Protoss opponent. The thing is here, Vines, he has no way to replenish this army at all. The Econ is entirely gone. He's down to, uh, let's take a quick look at the income, actually. Look at that, it's absolutely crushing. He needs to win with this attack, but he's, his Colossi are not here at this, uh, if he even has any left at all. I think he actually may have lost all of them, and Zergies will come in, and they're going to finish off this main Nexus. There will be no way for uh, the Protoss player to mine, so this is it. He needs to win with this army right here, right now. Three Evo Chambers for TLO. But, um... Right now we have six Broodlords morphing, and basically this is a battle against time for Vines. Uh, he needs to do what damage he can, and right now. But uh, TLO going with a drones, pulling drones for a counterattack as well. Very interesting play. Uh, we now have no Nexus for uh, Vines. He's entirely revealed, but all these overlords will get picked off. And this is going to become a very crazy base trade situation very soon. But TLO does have this base here, and I don't think Vines even knows about this. This is where the Broodlords are as well, and he has no idea about this base. Tilo is in great shape as long as he knows that base, does not has that base. And he's still morphing Broodlords right now. The Traitor Spire is not being targeted. Instead, uh, going after Overlords is fine. So he can actually... Uh, Tilo can't morph any more Broodlords right now because of the Overlord boss. He needs to make some more Overlords to get out of the map. And he's very heavily supply blocked. The Raider Spire will go down now, but that doesn't really matter too much. Um, still trying to get what little gas he can from this hatchery before it dies. Right now, there's no mining for Vines, and there's mining for TLO, and he has a bunch of Broodlords. Let's just take a look at the unit count here, right here. The supplies are pretty even, but uh, TLO supply is in 10 Broodlords, and right now, the only thing that stopped him are 27 Stalkers and 3 Phoenix. It could actually be really close, but the uh, Zerglings will distract the Stalkers for sure, but um, right now, all of TLO's army supply, army supply is in these Broodlords. And he's still mining, and he'll still be able to make Zerglings soon, I think. He's making a bunch of spine cars while his spawning pool is still alive. Oh, where is his pool? Where is it? How is he making those spine calls right now? Where can you put it, TLO? Is it, is it in here? I just didn't see it. Ah, where is the spawning pool? I have no idea. Oh, he has one over here. Interesting little uh, backup supply depot um, pool he has right there. But uh, he actually might just start going for buildings here, uh, TLO, because he can eliminate vines just by killing off these units. There are only nine probes on the map right now, and a lot of them are right here. 
Zergings and Roach is moving in and doing what they can, but they're going to back out. Tilo needs to maintain all, as many units as he can. Uh, Vines is a big supply lead, and a lot of them are in Stalkers, uh, plus two Stalkers with Blink. These Broodlords will do quite great, especially with this huge spine wall that's been built up here. And now we'll see the situation, but uh, there's next to no anti-air, but oh, Vines just sees those Broodlords and GGs and the Spines. Uh, knows he really had no chance. I feel like he could have gone in there and tried something, but with that many Spine Crawlers, there was no way. The damage output have been way too much. And Vines taps out. Uh, good little base trade situation handled well by TLO. Uh, great run buys into the main natural and third, just basically taking out all three Nexus at once while the army was out on the map. Vine's a bit hesitant. I feel if he'd started that base trade a bit earlier and had also known about this expansion that was TLO was building in the top right, he'd have been in a way better situation and probably could have taken that game. But no, indeed, it is TLO handling the crisis a bit better than his Protoss, uh, Korean Protoss opponent. And TLO takes the fifth win in this little series that I've made, TLO Party. Five and one right now. Still has only lost to the Fnatic Raid Calls Rain. Korean Terran, very good player. And all right to lose to him. And TLO takes out a great Korean Protoss right here. So kudos to TLO. And that's episode six. And I will see you guys soon with episode seven. Thanks for watching.